The alternative music scene is full of energy and emotions, but more musicians are experiencing mental health challenges. Could this be down to their career choice in the scene? Big up, it's AU. Oh, Don't do this. Help Musicians UK is the leading independent music charity. I decided to pop in and speak to Christine Brown, the Director of External Affairs. I'm Christine Brown, Director of External Affairs at charity Help Musicians UK. In 2016, Help Musicians UK experienced a 16% increase in people coming to us for crisis support and we want to understand more about the depth of the issue um, and why people in music were struggling with mental health challenges and that's why we commissioned the University of Westminster and Music Tank to carry out a study, Can Music Make You Sick? The study found that around 70% of people who work in music had struggled from some type of mental health challenge and were three times more likely to suffer from a mental health problem. In the last couple of months, I went to a funeral. Um, this, this hit me quite hard. Mm. A boy that was in, I was quite friends with at school who committed suicide and um, it, was, it was quite, like, you know, it, it, I've had a lot of friends that have had severe like, mental health problems and been sectioned and kind of, but you're so distant from it, even though they're your friend, you're not directly involved and it doesn't directly affect you, you know, it's... But when I found out that, you know, my friend had died and I went, we were all at the funeral, like my whole school year was there, all my teachers, or it, it was it was awful and it became real and I think we all turned to each other and was like, this can't happen again. Obviously, if you, if you need the help, go and get the help because that's so, so important. But, you know, if, we've all got our different fights, I know I've got a lot. I've had a lot of problems. Yeah, um, we all have. We've all got a lot of problems. Um, down low. From our perspective, it was really important to commission this study in 2016, Can Music Make You Sick, to understand the relationship between music and mental health. And what we found from our study was that it was the conditions around musicians. So, um, you know, working antisocial hours. Um, having a precarious lifestyle where you're not earning much money or you may not have regular employment and those were the types of issues that were making musicians unwell or possibly contributing to their mental health challenges. On the topic of touring, it's very important to try to not wear yourself down. This wasn't the reason to it was the one before. Yeah, yeah. It but was. I, to be fair, I actually did because I snapped at you, which I do feel bad about. Snapped at him. I shouted I at, at eight o'clock in the <laughs> service station. Oh yeah, that <laughs> was, was not. To be fair, actually, that's, this is a really this is a really good example of how much that does affect you, isn't yeah. it? Because you're all in each other's pockets, twenty four seven. Oh. You do, and like Owen's right, you need to keep yourself in top yeah. form because we, you do, because we were tired, some people were hungover, everybody was just like not in a good place. We were driving for like six hours just to get to the next show, and we were all snapping at each other. And when you're sat next to each other in a car, <laughs> it's you, so close. So you, yeah, you, you've got to like, you've got to make sure that, yeah. And I think the last tour we were yeah. much better. Yeah. The alternative music scene or bands in the alternative music scene and. And, and the music they produce often um, can reinforce the idea of, um, of mental health um, via the lyrics. Um, I think that music in that sense can be a, an incredibly powerful tool for people to, to talk about the challenges and actually to raise the profile of some of these issues. Um, our study was asking, can, can music make you sick? But actually what came out of it was that music was a way of people to express their issues in, in a positive way and, and what we found was that it wasn't the music that was making people sick, it was actually the conditions around them that, was, um, that had the capability of making them ill. There's a standard of what you need to, to be now and I think that's, there's a bit of pressure behind that and I don't deal with pressure very well. Singing about the thing you're sad about, for example, just to keep it in basic terms, it, it hurts in, in a way that's kind of good. Like it's kind of like you know, like when you scream into your pillow and then you feel better, or like when you just you're like, I really need to cry, and then you just cry, and then you feel better. Yeah. In December 2017, Help Musicians UK launched Music Minds Matter, which is a support line and service for anyone working in music. Um, it provides a listening ear, advice, signposting, and for those who require specialist help, we can provide free access to counselling, CBT and therapy, whether that's over the phone or, or in person. And bearing in mind that 
mental health is such a complex issue and can often be interlinked with other related issues. It, this Music Minds Matter service can also provide specialist legal advice and also um, debt advice. Um, if you're struggling or if you know anyone who is struggling, you can call the helpline 24-7. Um, it's free, it's confidential. We're here to help. Hi George. Oh Hello. yeah, bigger. Hello mate, hey, you alright? How's it going? Uh, We've been talking about you. In terms of like lyrical content and just like in terms of the vibe, I think we just we address it more. Mm. I don't think it necessarily means we struggle from it more. We as a scene do talk about it. Like emo is the most open type of music that you could possibly get. Like yeah. it's good. I mean like, you know, you listen to hearing about pop singers that are singing about having the best time of their life and then they're literally like the it next be day really deep, being though. admitted to like, yeah, yeah well no, but they can, but you know, because they're not writing the songs, there's nothing in it, but it doesn't mean that they're not suffering. I think it's a double-edged sword because when you're singing about things like um, off the top of my head, like hindsight's did an EP, that the entire thing is about being like depressed and run down, like painful listen. Mm. On on one hand, you're surrounding yourself with this negativity, and you're like, God, I really am sad about this. And at the other end of it, you're you're sort of outletting all of it at the same time. Yeah. People need to talk about it, and they need to talk about their experiences yeah. and the industry and how the industry works with those feelings as well because I think sometimes like you said the pressure musicians are under sometimes the industry isn't as forgiving and I think yeah. it should be we're lucky that our manager actually like I said after she checks in with us she does yeah. check in with us she, she's yeah. really good and I think you need more people like that you need the problem is it is such a you know, at, at a certain level, it is a selfish industry. Yeah. We're at the level where everybody's friendly, everybody's kind of doing it because they love it, but I can imagine when you get to a level where it's all about money, that's when it gets quite difficult, but those are the people that need to make the change.